we've been working with Cal for a number of years on Cal performances, and then today it's been working with athletics a little bit on the stadium and, and some other facilities at the university. We had met with the architects as well as their audiovisual consultant, WGHW, and they were looking to keep the classic look and architecture of the venue and not put in a very large scoreboard that would typically be needed to do a point source kind of system in a, uh, a university stadium like this, which most universities do. The idea of using something that didn't involve a point source or increasing that scoreboard size was something that had to be considered. On the south, uh, east corner of the stadium, there's a hillside with residential homes above the stadium. And they have always been very concerned about the sound system that's being used and, you know, during a game and what's being reinforced and how it affects their homes. So they had been actively working with the university on concerns. And so WJHW had met with them and presented this whole concept. Cal was an idea because it's so well controlled when it beam steers down, the back lobe is also steered down, which is a plus for them, and it also can look like a flagpole, which the architecture really liked. Well, with Cal, with all three of them, we have the ability to control its beam angle in one degree increments, from plus or minus 30 degrees in, in every one degree in between. And the beam spread you can adjust in five degree increments. So at the stadium, we're steered down about 27 to 29 degrees and have a 10 degree beam spread, I think in every case, throughout the stadium coverage, which allowed us to really control the energy as it's directed over those seats that steers down into the stadium. And with the narrow degree beam spread, there's very little overlap or spill onto the field. We low pass it at its highest frequency so that we uh, keep that energy above any of the grading lobes out of the beam coverage. So it only really puts energy where you direct it and it does an amazing job at that. So there's very little echo in the stadium. Uh, the game before feedback on the ref mic is amazing, and the control to adjacent areas is very well managed by the quantity of cows in the stadium. The first reaction was really positive. The result was that when you walked into the beam and you walked to the furthest seat that's closest to the field, away from the column, which was at the top of the, of the rake of seats, it sounded like it did when you were 10, 15 feet away from it. And then you walked out of the beam and you walked onto the field. And that's when you really knew that this thing was controlling sound like no other product that we've ever heard. And then at a flick of a button, you can change the angle of the beam and direct it across the stadium, which we did for the fun of it. <laughs> So Cal is employing amplification for every single driver. And R&D did a lot of research and a lot of work to be able to get the drivers very closely spaced to get us the highest frequency response we could without any grading lobes. The other thing that's happening with Cal is its impulse response is so clean um, that it'll provide such a coherent beam of energy. It provides really high intelligibility. So it allows us to put energy into reverberant spaces, not necessarily the Cal Memorial Stadium, which is outdoors, but in a reverberant space, it allows us to put energy right where you direct it. So the results that we're seeing in reverberant spaces is just amazing on its performance. And it's musical, it's clean, it's just a, kind of an amazing product that you have to hear.